What's up guys, CJ here and welcome back to another all new Hybrid News Now. We've got news dropping left and right today from Marvel and Hulu officially announcing a Runaways series, a look at Spider-Man Homecoming's first poster, and finally the Punisher reportedly casting a supervillain. But first, let's start off our day with that news about the Runaways series. After years of speculation that the cult classic 2003 comic series could be adapted either in the MCU or by Marvel Television today, yes, it is a reality. Deadline Hollywood exclusively broke the news today that Hulu had ordered a pilot based on the popular comic series from Brian K. Vaughn, and it looks like there's a strong chance that it gets ordered for a full season. In a surprising twist, Deadline also reported that developing the series are a pair of heavy hitters, Josh Schwartz and Stephanie Savage, the co-creators of the long-running teen drama series Gossip Girl. Now that might give some people some pause, but I honestly think it's a pretty good fit. The Runaways as a series was all about coming into their own, coming of age, and most importantly being a teenager with all the drama and dysfunction that comes with that territory. As a primer for some of you guys that might be unfamiliar with the original comic, the series centers around six teenagers that discover their parents make up a supervillain team known as the Pride. Discovering they inherited their parents' powers, the six band together to defeat them and then form a superhero team to kind of atone for their parents' villainy. Let me know what you think about all that in the comments section down below, but moving on to our next story, we have what appears to be our first look at Spider-Man Homecoming's first poster. This comes to us by way of Instagram user Fright Rags, a horror shirt designer and vendor who spotted the poster at Magic Lost. Vegas, a convention for apparel vendors. There's not really much to dissect here. It's pretty simple, pretty minimalistic, definitely just a teaser style poster. If there's one thing Marvel gets flack for more than anything, it's... Well, okay, if there's something they get flack for second most after villain quality, it's poster quality. It's a little too early to tell and reactions definitely seem to be mixed so far, but the consensus across the board just seems to be surprised at the sheer simplicity of it. And this all just brings me back to the idea that this is definitely not the final poster. This is just a teaser poster that'll hold you over until they get a final design out sometime early next year. I don't know if you guys remember this, but the Force Awakens teaser poster was literally just the film's logo on a star field, and that was the poster until the final design came out. And I, I think that's definitely the situation we're dealing with here. And for those of you wondering about the poster's authenticity, if you think Fright Rags is just making this all up, big heavy hitter Hollywood trades like The Rap have now picked up this story and are running with it as well. But I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think of this poster and why. And on to our last story of the day, let's talk a little bit of rumor and speculation. Marvel blog MCU Exchange has reported that the Punisher's Netflix series has begun casting a major supporting character and potentially super villain for the series which could debut as early as next year. That villain is none other than Microchip, aka David Lieberman, a longtime ally turned enemy of the Punisher whose interaction with Frank Castle goes back as far as 1987. During his partnership with Frank, Micro did a variety of tasks for the vigilante, from his specialties, hacking and cybersecurity, to obtaining weapons and equipment and supplying safe houses. Eventually, they had a falling out as Micro began to think that the Punisher was taking his war on crime too far and that his methods were just getting too extreme, and that just kind of devolved from there into a bitter, bitter feud that eventually led to the Punisher killing his longtime partner in the end. Micro was actually teased at the end of Daredevil Season 2, as his name was on that disc that Frank retrieved from his house before burning it down. And I'm really interested to see how they'll adapt Micro. Will they handle their partnership through flashbacks, or will he still be a partner for the bulk of the series that eventually develops into a villain, maybe by the end of the series, or potentially by the second season? Uh, there are a lot more questions than answers at this point. Actually, let's go ahead and make that the common question of the day. How do you think Frank's relationship with Micro will be handled in the show? But that brings us to the end of another HNN. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day. And consider supporting us on Patreon for access to all sorts of exclusive goodies we're rolling out. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.